optimizing your business. The optimizer's mindset. Mindset one, measure and know your numbers. Okay, math people, this is your time to smile. Non-math people, sorry to tell you this, but math is not over when you graduate school. You need math, but I'll hire someone to do the math. Fine, delegate it if you want, and you'll never know anything about your numbers, and you'll never know how you can optimize your own business. Go for it, at least for a short time. Get to know your business personally, intimately. Know your business. Know your numbers. Track your revenues ex and expenses. Cleaning times. Everything. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> what else is there? What's part of everything? Everything is everything. All is all. <laughs> you cannot manage what you don't measure. Get an accounting and scheduling system that provides reports on key metrics for your business. Get a dashboard for your business. Know your numbers. Mindset two for the optimizer's mindset. Analyze your numbers. Once you know where you are, you can set a path to go where you wanna go. It's like a map. You wanna take a family trip from Florida to California. That's great. Let's say you say, I wanna go to California. Well, how do I get there? Well, where are you now? Well, I don't know. I could be in Iowa, I could be in Maine. I could already be in California, who knows? That's the measuring. You have to know where you are to be able to get to where you go. Well, I'm in Orlando, Florida. Great, go this way, that way, this way. Head northwest on major interstates. You'll get to California eventually. Okay, analyze your number. Once you know where you are, you can set a path to get where you want to go. Focus on increasing profits, decreasing expenses, speeding up cleaning, and identifying your most profitable clients. Repeat that last part. You've got to know your clients. Which ones are those 80% that are, that are the best? The 20, I'm sorry, the 20% creating 80% of your profits and happiness, know those 20%. You have to have good measuring and analyzing skills to know which 20% are those good ones, okay? Number three, optimize with cleaning systems. A great one is speed cleaning. Uh, Debbie Sardone owns that, speed cleaning. Um, some parts of that system, cleaning apron or similar, allows you to have everything on you when you're cleaning. You know, to keep putting things down, picking them up, saves you time, more efficient. Cleaning apron or similar. Top to bottom, left to right. <laughs> it's like a cross, top to bottom, left to right. Clean from top to bottom, left to right. It's a system. Always go in that way. Why? Routine, routine, the power of routine. You ever drive somewhere, get there and be like, how'd I get here? Your routine, subconscious did it for you. Talk about them left to right, speed you up. Routine will increase your speed over as you get it more kind of neurologically, um, the path carved out in your brain. That's the power of a system like speed cleaning. Also room to room, talk about them left to right, room to room. <laughs>